Well, good morning, you guys. Today is actually Wednesday, so welcome back to another vlog. I have a doctor's appointment in a little bit. I gotta hurry up and get ready. I have about 20 minutes here. I'm trying to hurry up and get ready. I put all the makeup that I use every day into a bag. I need to buy an actual makeup bag for it. But what I wanna do, so my birthday is Friday. Today is February 14th. I wanna get my mom. So here's the plan for today that I wanna do. First, we're gonna go to my doctor's appointment. I'm not sure if Sprouts sells flowers or not. I'm pretty sure they do and it's right across the street from my doctor. And so I may stop at Sprouts after my doctor's appointment. I'm gonna have the boys take my mom some flowers. Brian and I don't personally celebrate um, Valentine's Day, but I just thought like it'd be really sweet to do something for my mom, have the boys take her something. So I wanna have the boys do that after my doctor's appointment. Um, I have I had an ultrasound last week, um, so I'll insert some pictures now. I want to know who you guys think he looks like. Um, a lot of us really think that, not a lot of us, pretty much everybody I've sent the pictures to, all my family, Emma Kel, well, she is family. I'm just going to stop saying Emma Kel. My family, <laughs> we all think that he looks a lot like me. Like, he is, he's just in there being my little twin, like... <laughs> Why do my kids do stuff like this? Like, and then they wonder why I lose my freaking marbles. Yeah, we think he looks a lot like me. So I'll put some pictures on the screen of his, oh, my hair is crazy when I wake up. Oh, uh, also I messed up my nails last week. So this nail is supposed to look like this nail and I accidentally dipped it in this powder before I did the last coat of white and I was, so mad and I was like, oh, I need to fix it. I need to fix it. And I just didn't have me in it, have it in me to fix it. So I'm using this Hyde Skin Booster Tint. So this is actually tinted serum. So this actually has like hyaluronic acid. And if you ask exactly why I didn't throw the box away. So this actually has hyaluronic acid, squalene, squalene, and niacinamide. I really, really like it. This is like the type of foundation I have been looking for because I've learned that having to use a powder foundation with my dry skin and just getting older is just too dry for my skin. And then like, I don't like full, full coverage anymore. Like I don't like, like I just like for something to look super natural. Like I really just want something to even everything out. Like I don't even want my freckles covered up anymore. See? how it just evens everything out, but it also has skincare. I don't use a lot of makeup at all anymore. Anyways, I found that Hyde Cosmetics, um, or yeah, skin tint. And they have a lot of other products I'm wanting to buy, like liquids, like liquid products. Cause you'll see as I really want a cream or liquid highlight because as you'll see, I only use a cream. I only use a cream bronzer and a cream blush, but I don't have a cream highlight. And it's just what I want. It started when we were younger. What did I think of the halftime show? I think that that was the best halftime show there has been in a while. Brian and I were talking. And at first we were like, oh man, like it would have been so cool if Luda, Lil John, and Usher ended it with lovers and friends because it would have been so cool for them to like like nobody was expecting them to be there so it would have been so cool if Luda just like popped out and was like please tell your lovers and friends that Usher John and Luda had to do it again but then I just barely learned today that's not even an Usher song that's a Lil John and the East Side Boys song so I was like okay it makes sense why Usher didn't do it and Lil John probably didn't have the permission to do it without the rest of his group. So I was like, okay, a lot of that, make, like it makes sense now, but uh, how cool would that have been if Luda like ended it like that? Like if they sung a little bit of it uh, and then like they ended it like that because nobody was expecting them to be there. <laughs> oh, but I was saying earlier for my birthday, I just really want to invest in like some good high quality Skin beneficial makeup like I want a really good mascara like I want to splurge on a really good mascara I want to splurge 
on a really good setting powder, on a really good, well, I have really good cream blushes, but like on a really good cream bronzer and a really good cream highlighter. Like, I don't know, like, like that's really all I want for, for my birthday. It's like, I just want really good makeup and we were going to go to Dallas, but um, we realized, I learned, I came into the knowledge of the reason my computer had not been working properly for me is because it no longer gets the updates to function with the software that I need to do YouTube and to edit my podcast and things like that. So. I told Brian, you know what? I don't have to go to Dallas. Can I just get a new laptop or a new computer? Like I would much rather invest back into my business and into doing something that could eventually get us on a vacation to Dallas right now than to, to go to Dallas one time and then that just be it, that money's gone. Whereas I can keep making money for YouTube and TikTok if I get a computer, I could have better quality stuff. Cause like right now I'm doing everything from my phone. It's frustrating. It takes forever to do anything. And um, like it takes forever to do anything. Like to import the files takes forever to... Editing actually doesn't take that long, but I have to be really, really smart with my clips. Also, TikTok, TikTok, YouTube played me on my last video. So if you're watching this video, please go watch my last vlog and share it and just do all the things. For some reason, my last two videos, TikTok did not push out. No matter how much I promoted it on like my TikTok, my Instagram, my Snapchat, I usually get at least a 90 to 100 views. And for some reason, my last few videos are not getting any views and YouTube also keeps playing with my subscribers. Like it'll give me a couple and then like take them away. Give me a couple. Like every time I'm about to hit 1500, it takes them away. And it's just, it, it's very frustrating. Like I was expressing to Brian, like I'm at the point where like, I don't want to do YouTube anymore. Like it's YouTube is a whole lot of work, a whole lot of work for me for very little return and yes i am trying to do this as a job so yes it is monetary for me um i just yeah you guys it's just i'm not sure why it's like that i'm not sure why it's playing with me like that okay hair is not gonna take long we are done with makeup but yeah like i was telling brian like i'm so ready to quit youtube because it's like the most views I've gotten since I've been back doing YouTube consistently, because one of my yearly goals was to post more. I'm taking a social media break right now. So like Instagram and TikTok. Um, the only reason I really get on Snapchat is because that's how Raquel and I talk most of the time. We just talk through Snapchat. and um, But TikTok and Instagram, like I'm taking a break from right now. But it has been a goal of mine to post at least twice a day on TikTok, which I've kept up with up until this past week. I just really felt like I was seeing how much time I spent scrolling on social media and things that I could be doing or filling my mind with. So I've been coloring a lot. I've been coloring so much lately and it's been so peaceful and calming. And I definitely notice a difference in me, like in my patience with the boys. Like I feel like I would get very impatient with them because I would be trying to read or listen to something on social media, like scrolling TikTok and they want to come talk to me. I'm like, I'm trying to listen to something. I'm trying to watch something. And it's hard because I'm also trying to teach them like at the same time, like, hey, when mom's on her phone, like, it's work. And so they don't really know when they can and can't approach me when I'm on my phone. And so, because like I said, I'm doing everything from my phone, filming, editing, posting, like all of that's getting done on my phone. And so, you know, I just noticed with the boys, I've had a lot more patience since I'm not scrolling because my phone is not always in my hand like I get on my phone I do what I gotta do and I get off and that has helped so so 
so, so much. Like, like I can't even express how much it's helped with my patience with them. And I think it's really going to help our relationship. So hopefully after my fast, I do have to get back on by Friday. Only because I have some content that I need to get up for TikTok shop. And if you miss those things, you can, like, they'll stop pushing out your content to make sales. And, like, you won't be eligible for more products to make sales. Like, free products. I get a lot of free products from TikTok. And if you miss those deadlines, so, like, it counts against you. The good thing is they've gotten a lot more lenient with their deadlines. They used to only give you seven days to get content up. Now they give you 14, which is really, really good. So, I have to either film. I was thinking about just because the goal was to also take a break from working which I have also done so I think I'm just gonna film the video that needs to be up in a couple of days or actually by Friday go ahead and get that up and it's literally I'm just gonna show my diaper bag what's in it and how much room it has and all its features like that's all that's all I have to do I was saying um, the return for all the work that you do on YouTube just has not been feeling worth it. Whereas on TikTok, like, like I have a pretty consistent income on there of a few hundred bucks a week. Like, and, and honestly, I'm just kind of at the point, like with these food prices and just the cost of living and everything going up, like, I don't think anybody would blame me for being like, no, like I expect more out of this work because it's like, because people say all it takes is consistency. All it takes is consistency. And I will admit over the years, I have periods where I feel how I'm feeling because I've been consistent for months on end or even a year straight sometimes. And it's like nothing. And so it's so, so frustrating because it's like you're putting in all this work. You're putting in all this work and it almost feels like for what? Like, for what? Like, that's how I feel. So, like, that's just how I feel. That's how frustrated I feel. That's how over it I feel. Because, like I said, that's, like, it's just like, for what? For what? And then that's whenever Brian has to step in and remind me, like, why did you start? And I was like, to bring glory to God, to let women see that, you know what? Like, you can have a very full life and live for God. Like, I feel like. I didn't even experience my fullest life until I started feeling for God. And I just wanted, I just wanted other women to see that. And like, and he was like, okay, so keep that mindset, keep going. Like the right people will follow you. And, but again, y'all like, it gets exhausting when you're seeing, I don't know. I'm almost ready to eat them. So. I decided just to take the boys to the appointment with me, but um, yeah, I'm gonna, I need to get my shoes on, get the car started. I need to make sure that they get their tablets because they are going to my appointment with me. I need to get some jewelry on. I got a new necklace. Hold on, let me show y'all that. This is my new necklace, you guys. I got it from Bomb Party. Me and Destiny, my sister, have been obsessed with watching Bomb Party. We've been thinking about doing it ourselves, like selling it ourselves, but... I just don't think now would be the right time for either of us. She has a newborn. I'm about to have a newborn soon. And we both homeschool. So, like, that's just something to take into consideration. And um, how short we're going to be short. But Bomb Party is all um, plated jewelry. So, the actual metal that touches your skin is real metal. It's triple dipped. The stones are either lab created or genuine. So I have amethyst on. So this necklace that I have on is, it's called the scattered bar necklace. It's amethyst cubic zirconia with rhodium plating. And so what you pay for it is way cheaper than like, if I waited to find this kind of necklace at the store, I would pay upwards of a hundred bucks. But with Bomb Party, I only pay 25. So that's like the fun part of it is like, you're getting it for what it's, I don't want to say what it's actually worth, but you're not having to pay the tax on it of buying it in store, if that makes sense. So it's either these sterling diamond hoops 
Brian got me or just these little little hoops. I think I'm gonna go with the little ones today. Brian wants to go see the Bob Marley movie tomorrow. Y'all see how pretty that skin tint is? Like, there's no filter. Like, this is, y'all know that iPhone camera is brutal. This is the iPhone camera, no filter. With how that skin tint makes my skin look. I'm gonna see if I can find an Amazon link for y'all and put it down below. If not, I will link the video that I make using this, um, skin tint because i have to make a video with it and post it on tiktok and it'll be linked on tiktok but you'll see how pretty it makes your skin okay so let's see oh, i think i want a side part today not down the middle all right you guys so let's go to my appointment all right you guys we're here Usually Brian takes off to stay with the boys, but usually my appointment is in the afternoon. So I think I might have to do the stupid glucose test today. What I was trying to tell you guys is that the appointment went really good. I'm only 28 weeks pregnant. I'm measuring at 30 weeks. Ooh -wee, I'm walking the wrong way, y'all. I'm measuring at 30 weeks. So big boy, big baby, or this baby's gonna be here sooner than we expected. So, which I kind of thought was weird because at all of my ultrasounds, he's been really big, like really big. Like for 28 weeks, most babies range from like two pounds to 2.2 pounds. Like, so two pounds, two ounces. This boy's at my last ultrasound last week was 2.8 pounds. So. I kind of figured he was going to be big, but now that she's saying I'm measuring 30 weeks, we just never know, which is crazy because if you guys remember when I had my first ultrasound, they said he was measuring small. Overall, today's appointment went good. I'm just measuring a little bit big. So now I'm going to get my blood drawn because I did the glucose thing, which I hate to do, but we got to do it. All right, you guys, blood, ha Bryson, where are you going? Blood has been drawn. Now we are at Sprouts, here to get some flowers. We're looking for flowers for Grandma. Oh, yeah, thank you. Does that good? Yeah. Grab strawberry. Thank you so much. Yeah, you yeah. enjoy. Happy Valentine's Day. Mm. All right, so Brian, oh, Brian called, I think. Stop. I was hoping they would have like cheaper bouquets because I really wanted each of the boys to walk in with something. But they didn't. And these tulips don't have a price on them. Okay. So I think I think we'll just get two of these ones. How did they giving things? This two or this one? Yeah. So I think we'll probably get her two of these bunches and have like the boys carry them in by twos. And then, I think, get over here. What are y'all doing? Do I need to call daddy and tell him now that y'all aren't acting right? No, ma'am. Because you know what he told me to do? Take y'all out for ice cream. And I will not if you start acting up. Yes, ma'am. Hey, I like that little sunflower. So, yeah, I think we're going to get, like, two of these. And then see if we can't find her, like, some chocolates or something. All right, we'll see. We'll see what we come up with, y'all. So we got tulips. I think that those are called. I don't know. I know that these are pom poms. Just hold on to them, and y'all seat. Put your seat belt on. All right. So now we go to see Grandma. Grandma. 
These ones are for Mimi. All right, you guys, mom loved the flowers. And I was just telling her about the appointment and how this baby is ginormous. Dang. So that either means he's gonna be a really big baby and I'm so worried that none of his newborn stuff is gonna fit him or he's gonna come sooner than we expected, which would not be good for me because I'm not allowed to go into labor. So we'll see what the doctor says in two weeks. But we are heading to the library now. It's story time starts in about 20 minutes. So 20. by the time we get there, it should be starting. The boys will have time to put their books, check their books in, get some books, and be able to do story time. So we're going to go ahead and go. But as y'all know, I like to listen to music. Turn the tablets off. They were only for the doctor. Yes, They know they're not supposed to have tablets until after nap time, but when I have appointments, I let them take them so that way they ain't acting crazy. But yeah, so let's go do that. And then I'm gonna see what Brian says about his work schedule and if he uh, is getting off before 3 p.m. or at 3 p.m., I'll keep the car and I'll probably just go with my sister and we'll take the kids to have a picnic at the park. But if he's getting off after, me and the boys will probably just pick up something to eat and then go get Brian, so. That's the plan thus far is just so far we know we're going to the library for sure. All right, you guys, we just made it to the library. It is 11.50, so like I said, just enough time to turn in the books and um, get, get pick new ones before story time starts. picked out their books. What are we seeing? Does anybody remember? A tootie tall, right? Okay. Y'all ready? You ready? Okay. We start with thumbs out. Are you going to join us? You always do it. All right. Thumbs out. And we got a wiggle. A tootie tall. A tootie tall. We gotta get the wiggles out, okay? Thumbs up, elbows back, knees together. Feet apart. Feet apart. <laughs> a tootie, a tootie, a tootie, ta ta. A tootie. Born on the bus goes beep, 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 The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. You guys, I took a bomb nap. I took it. I was gonna come by myself. That's why I told you I'll be back because I saw you falling asleep. He loved to ask. I did ask him to come, but I kind of guilt tripped him. I said, I can't be picking up those cases while I'm pregnant, but he was falling asleep. So I tried to let him stay behind and I was like, oh, I'll be back. He said, no, I'm coming, I'm coming. So I was like, okay, I'll wait. But I was gonna come by myself and have no problem with it. He was just gonna get woken up when I got home. But we're at Costco now. Get some grocery shopping done while everybody else is out and about. It's everything we got. I think we actually only got things that we needed, which is really good. But we came at the perfect time on the perfect day. 
Alright you guys, we are done. It's weird coming with Brian because he's putting all the not trying to get another copyright. Huh? <laughs> Talking to YouTube. But um, it's weird coming with Brian because usually I have to put everything back there and he's like, get in the car. <laughs> so I don't know what to do with myself. I'm going to just sit here and feel lazy, I guess. <laughs> Alright, you guys. So we stopped and got dinner for the boys. Brian and I weren't really hungry quite yet. So. I'm gonna put up these groceries, probably be hungry by the time that I'm done doing that. And so um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we got at Costco. And our total was like $350 and some change, which is usually our bi-weekly budget. So that's about $175 a week. When you break it down like that, it doesn't sound like that much. <laughs> so Brian kind of already put up some of it for me, like all the heavy case stuff. So we have the Alani News down there. We have the Arizona teas down there. They have these little skinny cans of the half and half. And they're the light ones. So they have light sugar. We got bread, orange juice. We got all of our produce here. We got, excuse me, strawberries, oranges, oranges, apples, geez. Limes, cucumbers. I did forget bananas, so we got raspberries, blueberries, grapes, oranges. We got um, crust offs, oat milk, almond milk, apple juice. I mean, oh my gosh, apple sauce, sun chips. Uh, I watch, um, I don't even know her channel name. But her name is Chrissy um, on YouTube. She has like a family vlog channel and she raves about these every time she goes to Costco. So I was like, I have to try these. And they have 13 grams of protein. That's a, that is a ton of protein. We got ground beef, Yogi Bites, barbecue sauce, scent beads, chicken, protein bars for hubby, chicken and nuggets, pizza, smoothie mix. Because I need, my sister told me to start drinking kale and spinach smoothies. So I picked up this to make with the orange juice so that way I can start holding on to some of my iron. We got vitamin waters and a case of water. I got my blood work back from earlier today and it showed I am not, I do not have gest gestational diabetes. It was actually really good. Um, but I am anemic, which makes a lot more sense as to why I'm so, so exhausted this pregnancy, which I was telling my husband, I was like, I wish she would have checked it sooner because I've been telling her at every appointment, like, hey, like, I am tired, like, unusually tired. And it's just a part of pregnancy. You have kids at home. Like, sometimes doctors brush things off, but her knowing my history with C-sections and knowing I'm going to have to have another C-section, I feel like that's something that she should have listened to a little bit more, but nonetheless, it's 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 there now. And we have 10 weeks to prep my body before we get there, so that's just what we're gonna do. It's just hard because I have diverticulosis, so I can't eat a ton of red meat. Iron is going to tear my gut up because I can't be constipated or both of those, too much red meat and taking iron can both have caused me to trigger me to have a diverticulitis flare up. And when I have those, I can't even walk, so. We just, it's rocking a hard place. So I'm just going to do what I can. At first, my sister was like beef liver. And I was like, beef liver capsules. And I was like, well, is the beef liver going to have the same effect on my colon as red meat would? Because, you know, like red meat can trigger my, uh, can cause a diverticulitis flare up. So it's just like, do I just remain anemic? But, you know, we're going to try the orange juice with the kale and spinach smoothies and just eat you know, more iron rich foods like beans and things like that. So we're, we're, we're gonna try to do better. I hate beans. So we're gonna try to do better. <laughs> so I'm about to try one of these. I'll try it on camera with you. But everything is put away. Got everything stocked, packed. Snack boxes are good again. I even boys already ate but um I even redid 
the snack cart. The mailman's been greedy. He's been real greedy taking like two Gatorades and two bags of chips. So what I did was now it's majority healthy unless he gets cookies, a honey bun or something. Now it's majority healthy because since you want to be greedy, be greedy and get some health. So I did keep it on the, it has been inside for a week because I was like, you know what? I'm really tired of him doing that. I'm not going to restock it. And the next time I restock it, I'm going to put a whole bunch of healthy stuff. Maybe he'll only take, you know, like be considerate of our other delivery drivers. It always takes that one person to ruin it for everybody. But yeah, so I just got the sparkling waters down there. Those are zero sugar, zero yeah. calorie. We got um, regular liquid IVs, sugar-free liquid IVs, tons of water, popcorn. Like I said, there's Nutter Butters, Oreos and Chips Ahoy, Yogi Bites, Granola Bites, um, a few. I put the Rice Krispie Treats in here because there wasn't enough for each of the boys to have one. Some trail mix, honey buns, and then these Bobo's Oat Bites. So, you got to get with it or get lost. You're going to have to... Yeah, they don't like it or he ain't. But to get my little lights, so that way we could try this together. Cause y'all know these iPhones be tripping with the quality whenever the lighting ain't right. So I'm excited to try this. You get these little rice crackers. So I'm gonna do some spread. How many crackers do you get in here? Six crackers, so you get six bites. Some salmon. Salmon smells good. Mm. Want to taste one? It's real good, but these are good. Definitely worth the hype. So if you go to Costco and you see these by like the cheese and stuff, you get them. All right, y'all about to sit down, call it a night, see what Brian wants to order for dinner. That took a lot longer than expected. It was in there for almost two hours, so. But I'm in there for two hours because like I restocked everything, reorganized everything. I washed all the fruits and veggies so that way the boys can just go grab them as they please. They don't have to worry about it. The only fruit that I told them they were gonna have to wash this time was the apples because I wasn't doing the apples because it's just a hassle to wash the apples. So I told them how to wash the apples every time they eat one, so. But yeah, I'm about to finish this. And we're going to discuss what to order for dinner. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Today is Thursday the 15th. My birthday is tomorrow. I don't know if Brian still wanted to go to the movies tonight. I need to ask him to see if I need to find a sitter. But, um, yeah. Today's agenda, though, is I'm going to redo my nails. Because, remember, I told you guys that this nail got messed up. And I just... I want to cut them down a little bit. I just don't like my hands with long nails. I like them all about the length of this nail. So I'm going to cut them down. I'm doing red because I told I promised Bryson that I would do red this time. So I'm going to do a red nail. And um, oh, I bought some things that we didn't get at Costco last night. And the total was $40. Yeah, it was like right at $40. So let me show you guys what we got. <laughs> Okay, we got wipes. Y'all know we're stocking up. Size 3 diapers. Um, if I'm not getting the Millie Moon brand at Target, I'm getting the Rascal and Friends bag uh, brand. Why? Because it's still no lotions, no latex, no fragrance. Um, we got eggs. I'm about to start a return on these because we don't... I don't like these eggs. Like, we're going to eat them, but this isn't what I ordered. So, I'm going to start a return on those. And then we were out of this cereal. I didn't realize it till I was putting up groceries last night. You can see that that's the only empty cereal box. So we have fun cereal. Um, in our house, we call it fun cereal. 
We always have two containers of fun cereal, two containers of healthier cereal. They're like the whole grain, no um, artificial colors, sugars, or anything like that. And then just they'll be the cheese we needed for uh, sandwiches and stuff. So, yeah, this is all that we got. It was 40 bucks. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, it's really not a lot, but I got to remember the diapers were $20 by themselves. And so, yeah, all the other products were $20 together, but that's what I got. So the next thing is for me to do my skincare, do my hair. I used those pimple patches last night. So I don't know if you guys remember, but yesterday I was looked in the mirror and I was like, oh, I'm breaking out. So I used a few pimple patches last night to see if that would help. And I'm going to do my read and write the word. Kingy, you can change your shirt into a regular shirt like mama's. Make sure Brian hangs that shirt back up. Um, I got the oils going. I got the debug going. I don't really think there's any chores that I need to do. I've cleaned the bathrooms this week. I've vacuumed this week. I've been taking it really easy on mopping. I only mop when Brian's home. So that way I can have the boys out of the way. And it just, I feel like when I clean when Brian's home, the boys are more careful. And mopping is one of those things that I really want them to be careful about. I did swift a mop. Was it Sunday night? So maybe I'll swift her mop tonight, but if I swift her mop, I do it at the end of the day. So regardless, no chores for me to do right now. I've got the debot going, got the oils going. Um, I dusted last week, so I don't need to dust right now. I don't see that it's too dusty. And then the boys need to start their homeschool packets. I decided just to do packets for the rest of the pregnancy and probably after recovery from the C-section. Excuse me, we're just going to be doing homeschool packets. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the day going, put this little bit of stuff up, and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, you guys, we're looking cute for the day. I did my brows, and I know y'all been seeing it in my vlogs that I needed to do my brows. We took our time with them today. This is my problem child, my right eyebrow. Also, what do we think about the no lower mascara look? Like... I feel like it definitely makes me feel more fresh, more awake, more youthful, if you will. That's what we're aiming for. My birthday's tomorrow, the 16th, and I'll be 31. Daddy, Which is crazy, though, to think of my older sister. She about to be 30, or she just turned 36. Oh, she old. Oh, wait, she's four years older than me. <coughs> 35. 35 and I have another sister who I think is 36. I'm not sure, but yeah. Baby. Oh, that's what I meant to show y'all. I was gonna say, y'all didn't think I was gonna leave y'all hanging without a baby bump. Huh, did y'all, did y'all? Baby bump. So from the front, people are always like, are you even pregnant? And then I'm like, yes, yes. Which is funny because I really don't look that pregnant, I guess. But, um, stop. Mm -hmm. I am measuring, like I said yesterday, I'm measuring 30 weeks instead of 28 weeks. Mm. I guess I just don't get very big. And I'm guessing all the weight is literally fluid and baby. Because I've only gained a total of five pounds this pregnancy so far. And we got 10 weeks to go. So definitely, definitely going to be getting bigger. But for right now, this is our seven month, um, our 29 week belly, I should say, our 29 week belly. Baby is as big as a head of cauliflower right now. So I need to clean that mirror. But now I'm gonna do my read and write the word, get the boys started on their packets. And I think we're just gonna chill today. So let's go get that done. Spot and one in the 
tens above. When you have one in number, it's in the ones. You add them together by place value. So let's say you're about to do number two. Then you would only write 30 plus 36. You go straight down when you're adding. 187 plus 6. That's how that should have looked. You'll have to write the answers over here, Ethan. just finished up school it's always the one kid it's always one of them never know who it's gonna be that makes it go longer than expected but <clears throat> excuse me for lunch today i just made them sandwiches with sliced cucumbers and some ranch and i'm gonna snack on some cucumbers and probably one of these until i decide what i feel like eating for real for real all right you guys my lunch just got here. I ordered me Subway. Let me tell y'all about last night. Okay, so last night, Brian and I were like, ooh, what should we eat? So I was like, you know what? Let's try something new. Let's get Firehouse Subs. They canceled our order. So that was already like my first craving, the first taste that I had. And y'all know how intense this is if you've ever been pregnant. Like it's already intense, not pregnant. Imagine the intensity when you're pregnant, when you have a taste for something and you can like already taste it in your, in your mind, in your mouth. And then they canceled the order. So I was like, you know what? Fine, forget it. So we went with Subway. <sighs> Why was Subway out of the dang meat that I wanted for my sandwich? So, <laughs> so I had to get a completely different sandwich that I didn't even want. So I ordered me Subway today. You can see I got the meatball sub on Italian bread, provolone cheese, toasted lettuce, um, spinach, cucumbers, onions, banana peppers, red wine vinegar, ranch black pepper parmesan cheese and then i got me a coke and i got me a churro and then we had these chips at home we don't we don't ever keep coke in the house and i got a i got a coke zero guys so don't worry about my sugar intake <laughs> um so i got these lays sour cream and onion i just felt like that's gonna go perfect with the sandwich but yeah so that's what i'm about to eat for lunch there's two things that i want to do kind of for myself today I, I did consult the boys on this so one of them is reorganizing the homeschool shelves. I asked the boys, I said, hey, do y'all like the way the homeschool drawers are? Or would y'all rather have like all the school books in one, all the school supplies in one? So that way, when everybody goes to get their schoolwork, you only have to open one drawer. All of them said they only like, like they want it all like, like they want all the books together, all the folders together, all the spirals together, like all the pins and pen, like all the pencils and stuff together. They want it all like in one drawer so we are going to go ahead and do that today but i also want to do my nails so i'm deciding what i'm going to do during their nap time either my nails or um their boxes i may start with my nails and then go into the boxes which is probably what i'll do because i want to have my nails done before brian gets home he might be home actually pretty soon though so um yeah i'm about to eat this lunch and then you know what no i'm gonna do the school boxes before i do my nails because if for so that way if i mess anything up it's the nails that i'm about to redo that get messed up so yeah we'll do the boxes and then we'll do my nails all right you guys it is nice and warm we got the meatballs in there oh 
can't wait to eat. I'm gonna let y'all know how it tastes when I'm done. Y'all, I feel like a new woman. I feel like a new woman after eating that. It tasted exactly how I expected it to taste last night. So now the boys just lay down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the school boxes really fast as they're falling asleep. So that way whenever I go to do my nails, it's super quiet. Drinking my Coke. I haven't eaten my churro yet. That'll be my treat to myself for doing my nails and organizing the school boxes. So I'm gonna go ahead, set the camera up. I'm gonna take everything out of the boxes first and then <clears throat> I'm going to separate it in piles on the table. And then I'm probably gonna need to go to, probably gonna need to go into the office and I think I still want them to have separate scissors, separate um, separate pencils, separate sharpeners and everything like that. I still want them to keep those separate just because I still want to know like whose pencils are getting left around and things like that. There, I do need to go to the store and buy a few more supplies, like not crowns or anything like that. I don't think I'm gonna buy crowns. I think. We're just going to continue to have like our community crown boxes. I, that's that's working really well. Um, sometimes there's some fighting, but then I'm like, y'all, like, like there's more than one blue. There's more than one red. Like find it and quit fighting over the one your brother has. So yeah, let's go ahead and get all of this done. I need to clear the table a little bit. I put their waters in the fridge so they're... Nice and cold for snack time. Also, if you go to Elemental Bottles and use um, the code AllieMCK, uh, you get some money off. Or they use, just use the link in my bio. You'll get um, some money off. That's what I use for the boys. Because it's so hard to find cute boy water bottles that are all different prints or different colors. And Elemental does a really good job at making sure they have a variety so okay and then i think somebody drank milk because i told them if they drank milk to use these cups they got from burger king last night in their kids mills but yeah that's the the elemental bottles brand is the brand of my cup and of their bottles so let's go ahead and get this going Alright you guys, this is the new setup. We have their daily work here. We have um, mass, or mass supply, school supplies and helpers. And then in this one we have their busy work. So these are just workbooks. And then down here we have sketchbooks, notepads, and their little, what are those called? Pattern tile sheets, pattern tiles. And then all of their crowns, markers, color pencils over here. And then those are like dry erase board type things. So we are all done. I threw away everything that they either had filled up or were no longer using. So now it's time to do my nails. All right, y'all. I wanted to show y'all that I got my nails all done. They're really pretty. This is a really pretty red. I need this red for my toes. Humble. This red would make my toes suckable, huh? Ooh, I need you to say something freaky. <laughs> All right, y'all. You want to lock this door, baby? Yeah. All right, we are. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Barbara. I'm going to go get some video. They don't have any good places. Besides, Uber Eats really made me mad last night. But there's no good places on Uber Eats to get video, so I'm really hoping this taco truck 
that's really close to our house is still open but um yeah that's what i am heading to get right now for brian it is cold that is what i'm heading to get right now for brian and i so i'll see you guys once we get back all right you guys we're back home i got a pineapple awa fresca and this is all the food i ordered i was a little hungry when i ordered so it's a lot of food <laughs> so let's get into it can you record me opening this oh, oh pregnant hey pregnant what Three of these just in case we were extra hungry. Mm -hmm. What you call them? Quesadilla, so they're like biryani quesadillas. Say it again. How you say it? Quesadilla. Quesadilla. The only time you ever speak Spanish. <laughs> when there's food involved. But they on Chero, so good. And then I got steak to the top. already. Good taco. split this one i'm worried for i don't know remember we was just talking about grilled onions <laughs> my mouth is watering <laughs> Ooh, all right you guys so this is what everything looks like oh look at that comes on the first share you think he's playing i was about to get on my phone oh, i was about to say i was about to get on my phone i'm about to next some buy some uh, I'll put on some more and yeah, I'll get back on my phone. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. I'm about to try these grilled onions. I was thinking about just eating the grilled onions on the way home. I'm out of line. I'm so pregnant. <laughs> they give you serrano peppers. To the jalapenos. Serrano. That's good too. Like a cucumbers. What is this? Uh, pineapple ala fresca. I like cucumbers. Mm. All right. I see. Juicy limes. Ooh, I got on a white shirt. About to be on my Brian. All right, bye. That's hitting the spot. All right, you guys. So we were just driving around, reminiscing. Look, this is where. I, this is where we lived when I started my YouTube channel. <laughs> right here. That window wasn't busted. Yeah, that up. window wasn't busted. This is a little two bedroom, one bath duplex. So from here to the back that we saw was all that we had. God is so good. <laughs> all right, you guys. I don't even know if I told y'all. <laughs> it's my birthday. We went to Hook and Reel for lunch. I shouldn't have chose that, but um, the boys enjoyed it. They said it was the best lunch they ever had, so that's good. Now I'm at Market Street. I'm picking up a cake. Again, not for me. The boys really want to sing happy birthday to me, so I'm getting a cake. I can't believe I'm 31, 31 years old. So yeah, I want a Tres Leches cake though, so. Hopefully they got it. Right here. Oh, they do. What is that one? That's just a classic white sheet cake. This one's a stress lettuce. Why is stress lettuce cake so expensive? I want the kiwi. I want this one. This one looks good. It has kiwis and all of that on there. I'm getting this one. Oh, will you fix that? Five, no. Five, two, <laughs> three, two, one. Okay. 
you know, look, it's all one plane, one big plane. Oh. This is for every year. I expect you also to be here. Three. Ready? Okay, two. Uno, Four. dos, tres. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Allie. Who's that, Allie? Happy birthday to you. We got the black guy. <laughs> Yeah, too. Woo! You're supposed to clap. Boy, this part is not going to be shaking. Fireworks! <laughs> I'm getting the whack. That was real loud. That was real loud. So, do you feel old now being 31? Feels like 30, tiring. Oh, wow. 30 yeah. felt good for me. <laughs> so you start breaking that hip? <laughs> Falling down your mama's stairs. Mommy, what are these? Kiwi, you want one? You can take it. What is Kiwi. Kiwi. What is like? Like a fruit? Yeah. <laughs> it's actually good. Yeah. Yeah.